when you're driving up the canyons to go regular fishing on a boat or anything. I was uh, seeing people wading in the rivers and streams and you know seeing them flip in line a different way than what I was doing so eventually I was like man I gotta give that a shot and once I caught my first fish on the dry fly that was it right there. Every time I drive to a river and I put on those waders and those boots I'm so excited because this is where I'm supposed to be. It encompasses all of me. Maybe that's um, what I found in it, in fly fishing. I could truly be myself. Trying to close a big deal or get a project out or make a big sale, which are all worthwhile goals, here you get to drop all of that and connect with nature, connect with your, with your primal self to solve a tiny, small problem of getting a fish to eat a fly. And when you leave everything else behind you and you're able to take that moment in time and only focus on one small task of getting a fish to eat and you accomplish it, accomplish it it's something that once you have that feeling, you're, you're constantly chasing that feeling. Seeing a concept that I taught light up in a little kid's eyes. They're like, oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's how you do it. Um, I have that same excitement and that same, oh, that's what it is when everything works on the river. When you pick that dry fly, you get that drift and the, and the trout comes up and grabs it. My eyes, and, and the same as my kids when I teach them cricket, I taught them cricket and they're like, what is this at the beginning? Brand, you know, American kids have no idea what cricket is. Uh, and to see them hit the ball and their eyes are like, whoa, let me do that again. Same thing, fly fishing, let me do that again. I cast, let me do it again. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> when I'm guiding especially, you know, being able to take uh, people out to new waters where they haven't been before and uh, enabling them to successfully have a good day of fishing and catch a lot of fish, hopefully. They'll say things like, you know, I've been here like 10 times before and I've never caught a fish and I'll take them there and hopefully they can catch like 10 or 20 fish and then it just changed like their whole mindset on what fly fishing is. I mean, seeing people happy catch fish doing something that they've never done before, it really, I mean, it, really gives me a smile on my face most of the time. The looks on their face, the reactions that they get when they've caught a fish and uh, just that uh, excitement that is imparted to them, you know, is uh, very contagious. We just recently, we just uh, donated uh, 12 sets of outfits to uh, Pasadena Casting Club's youth program. And uh, <clears throat> it was an honor that we can do so because we noticed that the involvement of the club in the uh, youth program is vast and then it's important for this sport so we, we'd love to do that and and I noticed that Frank is really out there he loves he's a, he has that childish heart in him and I, I noticed um, that he, he just loves to help people and then he loves uh, being around I guess teaching people I, I, I love Frank in terms of his willingness to help people and, um, and, and, and never complain even though he's so busy himself. Yeah, now yeah. we can, there you go, listen. There you go, go. look at that. Oh. You got it? Here you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, oh yeah. Now, when you do that, now what you want to do is... <laughs> he's out of there. <laughs> good job. All right, now let's do it again. The biggest problem is that because we're in this industry, we're supposed to be, we're, we're, we have a 40 year, that, that actually becomes our bondage, becomes our baggage. Our 40 years in industry for us, and we as, me, myself as a new angler, it's very hard for me to tell them I'm a brand new angler. And uh, so it was hard for me to open that up. So 
eager to learn from everybody, from whoever that come in contact, and eager to, you know, ask questions on the things that I don't understand about. Um, I think actually really helped me out a lot in this business because, you know, at first I thought that I had to present myself that I know everything about this industry kind of hurt me from going out to get to know people and then get to know the industries. But to me right now, I, I think I'm free from it because I've come to realize that, hey, it's better to be free on this and let people know I don't know about it, but I love the sport. Just simply, I genuinely love the sport. Everybody that I've involved with uh, in the fly fishing industry, Everybody is such a nice people. Um, everybody is so nice. I thought the anglers' culture, in terms of the uh, the people, how they extend their help to other people, that, that that surprised me too. If I applied for ambassadorship to other companies, they probably would have not even looked. At it. I don't even have a resume for fly fishing. You know, I have a resume for the outdoors and the love and the passion for that. Um, but I love that Snowy looked at me and said, hey, she can help. And I was like, wait, I can? And that's, that's why I'm here. Um, yeah, I, that's actually, I really like that about, about Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was so cool. So cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Wow. When I first started doing this business, it was for business part of things. Naturally, it was progression that we should set up a U.S. distribution and start doing fly fishing business in U.S. Even though I don't know anything about fly fishing at that time, but now that I got into the sport, it is. I notice how fun it is, and I know this is. It's just. It, I guess it's. You know, in the food, you say umami. It, it did bring back a little umami of our younger days when we're dealing with the, um, of my, when my kid was still four or five years old, we went out camping. When I, and that just came back to me. It's been how many years? 20, 30 years now. So, and it brought back, I said, there, here's an opportunity that for me to bring my wife and my kid together and to go out and have fun together again. And that, I had that in my, I had in my thought when I started this business. And I think it's coming true. So that's, I'm very happy for that. I'm very happy for that.